Hoffman, Craig Ferguson. And thank, thank you for, uh, it, is, it, is it me? Is it very cold in here? It's freezing in here tonight, isn't it? My nipples are pointy. Everyone's all wrapped up toasty warm, but don't worry, I'm going to rub you and rub you and rub you until you feel comfortable. Is my collar being a bit weird tonight? It's been a bit funny, isn't it? It's like, should I just take it off? My pants being a bit funny, should I just take them off? Oh, my underpants, so they're being a bit funny. Oh, I'm not wearing any. <laughs> Hell, I'm a grown-ass man. What am I saying this stuff for? Because I'm also a whore. <laughs> it's a great day for America, everybody. Yes, it is. It is. It is. It's a great day. A great day for one of my favourites, Ryan Gosling, who was named the coolest person of the year by Time magazine. Now, that's important, because when the kids want to know what's cool, they put down their internets and their smartphones, and they, they get Time magazine. And they're like, now, let's see what's cool now. Very scary day at the naval uh, shipyard in Maine. Workers building on the, this is true. Workers building on a, a new destroyer discovered in the the, mis, the guided missile system had been compromised by spiders. <laughs> setting the scene, just setting the scene. They weren't just any spiders. The missile tubes had been taken over by deadly black widows. Worst of all, the deadly black widows came from Los Angeles. If we start dancing now, you'll just be disappointed for the rest of the show. I like that music, though. Keep that around. That's good, that. Let's hear it again. All right. I'm sure these spiders aren't happy with the situation either. I mean, you, they climbed into a warm box in Southern California. <laughs> and they ended up in Maine in December. It's cold in Maine in December. How, how, how cold is it, Jeff? They're dipping lobsters in hot cocoa. Right, okay. <laughs> it's so cold, uh, Santa's sack is shrinking into his body. <laughs> you just do me now. What the hell, man? What the hell? Well, you're, you're, you're happy if I dance for you, but I say anything about Santa's sack and it's like, ooh. You Puritan judgmental bastards out there. Maybe the audience came from Los Angeles. Oh! <laughs> I think that might be our new thing. We found a new thing every time we say Los Angeles. All right, all right. Great, we found a new thing. Anyway, the Black Widow Spider, uh, they're, they're, they get their name, the spiders, because the female kills her husband after they mate. Which, well, they're not, you know, they're not technically married. There's no ring on the spider leg, but she kills them. <laughs> she kills them as soon as she gets her lusty, spidery desire satisfied. But it makes me think, why do male spiders keep getting it on with black widows? You think they'd have figured it out by now? They'd be like, <laughs> where's Bob? I saw last time I saw him, he was hooking up with that black widow. <laughs> the, my point is that spiders talk like cockneys. That's my... <laughs> <laughs> You want a biscuit, a nice cup of tea or something? No, I'm, I'm a spider, I'd like a fly, please. <laughs> oh, I'm bored with flies. What about a nice egg sandwich? <laughs> it's 
Spider nearly knocked me off me plates. He was oh, wearing a serum. I was just up cleaning the chimney, sir, and, and down came the, the spider. Which was me, of course. So I got straight away on the dog to me trouble, so I couldn't believe me mitzes. You gone too far, man. Los Angeles. <laughs> anyway, you know, spiders, yeah, in, in ancient mythology, spiders are de depicted as symbols of patience because they spend all that time weaving their web and then they wait until the unsuspecting prey stumbles into it and then it's all over in a matter of minutes. Nowadays, what we'd call a Kardashian marriage. <laughs> Do you know the spider I like? You know in the, the first James Bond movie, Dr. No, Sean Connery gets attacked by a spider. He's lying in his bed in the hotel room and a big tarantula crawls across his body. Do we have a picture of that? You got a picture? Yeah, look at that! Oh! But I'm thinking the spider probably thought that Sean Connery's chest hair was a thick web filled with food. <laughs> He's probably right. There's tasty nibbles over there. I think I left some ham over there next to my nipple. Aristotle believed that swallowing a spider every day would keep you healthy, which kind of undermines all the smart stuff he said. And there's an urban legend that people swallow four spiders a year in their sleep. Oh, you don't got an oof for that? What the hell is wrong with you? Like, that doesn't get you? What the hell is wrong with them? You people are sick. You people are sick. Yes, spider-eating, judgmental bastards. Bastards, all of you. Yeah. I, when it's even I heard that thing about spiders, you know, eating spiders, and you know, I didn't sleep for three months. I was on crystal meth, but still, I didn't sleep. <laughs> I'm terrified of spiders. Well, not all spiders, just the terrified ones, like the poisonous banana spider of the Amazon. That is reason I would never go up the Amazon, because I'm afraid of those spiders. Besides, if I want to see little hairy monsters popping out at me, I'll pull down my pants. <laughs> Oh, man. <laughs> On the other hand, exotic spiders could be the cure for erectile dysfunction. This is true. No, it is true. What the hell is wrong with these people? I, I swear, I'm, like, I'm going to leave, I swear. Yeah, I, I tell you, if I wasn't connected to an outlet myself, I'd leave too. Oh, I see what you did there. In your pants. Yeah. <laughs> No, listen, there is a cure for erectile dysfunction. The, uh, the, uh, these scientists in Brazil discovered there's a type of spider venom uh, that causes an erection. <laughs> this is great news uh, to anyone that has the mosquito-shaped penis. <laughs> Count me in. <laughs> Not sized, shaped. How dare you. How dare you. <laughs> How dare you come all the way from your home in... Los Angeles. All right, all right. <sighs> I'm kind of done. What do you think? Nope, that's our show. Yeah. <laughs> And we danced a little bit. We talked about uh, little hairy things popping out your pants. That's pretty much it, really. After this, it's all just the same. <laughs> No, he's not kidding. No. <laughs> you want to do the commercial? Sure, why not? Ah. Law, love a duck. We'll be back with more The Late Late Show after this message from our sponsors. Know what I mean?